Beautiful golden roast potatoes, crispy on the outside with a fluffy center. Have you ever wondered how you turn the mundane potato into one of the most beautiful centerpieces of a dinner? Stick around because in this video I'll show you just how. It's no secret that for chefs in professional kitchens we have state of the art equipment and lots of things that help us along to produce perfect things like roast potatoes. However, in this video I'll be showing you just exactly how to produce the perfect restaurant style roast potato in the comfort of your own home. Perfect for a roast dinner, Thanksgiving, Christmas or any other meal you fancy. The starting point for any roast potato is choosing your variety of potato very wisely. I'm in the UK so I use a Maris Piper but what you need is a potato that has a high starch content and a low moisture content. You need the low moisture content to create the nice fluffy potatoes and the starchiness of the potato is what's going to give you the lovely crispy outside. Begin by peeling your potatoes, making sure that you take off all the peel and remove any eyes so you are left with beautiful potatoes that are white all the way around. And then after this stage, cut them into quarters or a size of your choice. Just make sure that when you cut them, all the potatoes are roughly all the same size as this will help the results in the baking process later on. Once you've cut all your potatoes into a size of your choice, place them into a bowl and then take them over to the sink and just run them under some very slow running cold water until the water runs clear. This is an important stage of the process as what we're looking to do here is wash the starch off the outside of the potatoes. Once the water has run until it's completely clear, drain the water off and then spread the potatoes evenly between two steamer pans making sure you have enough room for the steam to get out. If you don't have a steamer pan you can use boiling water although for the best results it is ideal to steam the potatoes. Place your potatoes into the steamer and then at this stage preset your oven to 210 degrees celsius and then after about 20 minutes check the potatoes. You want them to be almost mashed on the outside but still slightly solid in the center you should be able to push a knife into the potato. It should be soft on the outside and you should start to feel some resistance in the center. At this point, this is when the potatoes are ready. Remove from the steamer, remove the lid, and then place on the side and allow to cool for 15 minutes. While the potatoes are cooling down, prepare the roasting tray. I'm using half a bulb of garlic, just lightly crushed in the tray, and some fresh rosemary and thyme. And then for these roast potatoes, I'll be using sunflower oil as in the restaurant environment, we also cater for vegans and vegetarians. So we adopt the one suits all approach. However, if you don't want to use sunflower oil, there are other alternatives you can use such as duck fat, goose fat, beef fat, more commonly known as lard, or if you've been confying things, you could use the confit fat from that, or you could choose to infuse your own oil with herbs of your choice to create your own unique flavor roast potatoes. Place your roasting tray into your preheated oven to allow the oil to get nice and hot. Once your potatoes have cooled down, put the lid back on the steamer and give them a very gentle shake to ruffle them up. What we're looking for here is to make the outside of the potato almost mashed. This will help in the roasting process as this will create lots of nice fluffy edges, which during the roasting process will turn lovely and crispy. Once your roasting tray is nice and hot, place the potatoes into the tray very carefully, being careful not to splash as this will cause severe burning. Once the potatoes are nice and evenly spread, do not mix at this stage, but give them a nice good helping of salt and then place into the oven to roast for 20 minutes. If you are enjoying the video, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on that notification bell to never miss a future episode. There's also other ways you can help support the channel. Check out the buy me a coffee link in the description down below. Roast your potatoes for 20 minutes and then at this stage the outer edge of the potato will be solid enough that you can remove from the oven and give them a good stir ensuring that the oil coats all the potato and then place it back into the oven for a further 15 minutes. After 15 minutes your roast potatoes should be lovely and golden all over, nice crispy edges and a fluffy center. Take them out of the oven, remove the potatoes from the tray straight away so that you don't absorb any of the oil and just allow them to sit for a few minutes to allow any residual oil to drain off and then it's time to serve. Just bear in mind that all ovens do vary so the cooking times are approximate and you may need to adjust them accordingly to the appliance that you use. The oil that you've roasted your potatoes in can be kept to do additional batches if you are catering for large numbers or you can strain it and use the oil again in other applications such as a salad dressing. And there we have our beautiful crispy golden roast potatoes with a lovely fluffy centre. 
I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and share on your social media. And to see lots more cooking and baking, why not hit subscribe, turn on that notification bell. And if you'd like to see another video, check out one of the videos on screen now. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.